Approximately 10% of the entry, 21 couples were from the United Kingdom. It shows the drawing power from all over the world, from the 30 or 40 countries that have had couples dancing in this professional event. The Rising Star winner there, Pat. Yes, from Italy. She has a new hairstyle, softer colour to her hair, which I'm sure enhances the whole picture. And dancing so beautifully. Last year's amateur champion, winners of the Rising Star professional competition this year. Marcus and Karen Hilton. The title holders. A couple from Norway. Lasse Odegaard and Lila Kragerball. From Japan. Shinoda. Here we have Andrew and Lorraine. Shinoda's not quite at their best this year, I feel. Getting a little bit hemmed in with the couples. Yes, a little behind the music. The Tanakas. Yes, they're finding the space in the floor. Fifth Fluidity and movement. Fifth in all four dances last year. Number seven, John Bice and Jennifer Buchanan just gone out of shot. Japanese contingent marking their program. In the Foxtrot, 12 couples have been recalled. 6, 29, 54, 58, 77, 102, 127, 150, 175, 186, 198, and 204. A couple going out were 107, John Vice and Jenny Buchanan. Now, last year they made the quick step only, and this year they made the waltz. So there's been a change there. Perhaps they're hoping to be selected in one of the remaining two dances. Formation team start. <laughs> Five couples doing exactly the same feather step to send a reverse turn. Still two, two doing reverse waves. Is that Amano's Pat, the other Japanese couple, one, two, seven? It's Hiro and Kyoko Amano. They had three dances in the final last year and finished in sixth place. Finally, walls fucked up in quick step. Here we have a very new partnership with an old English girl, Heather. Heather Dancing. Stewart and Victor Veraset. Yes, they were third in the Rising Star competition earlier in the festival. Dance wonderfully well. Very nice dancing indeed. Yes, it's surprising how well they've been able to dance together in this short time. We a very good couple, number 29, Luca Barici and Amanda Owen. A 
young, vibrant couple. Bags of energy and enthusiasm. semi farm and all four dancers last year. But they've improved a lot since then. I'll be hoping to do better this time. Third test dance will be the tango. In the foxtrot, 12, sorry, in the tango, 12 couples it will be called. 6, 29, 54, 58, 77, 102, 127, 150, 175, 186, 198, and 204. So that's exactly the same as it was for the Foxtrot. The pinky colours seem to be predominant in yes, this year's competition. Yes, it's often white, isn't it, that's, uh, that's very popular Thank about you. it. But there's a lot of pinks. Cecile Brink from Norway. Very strong tango dancers. Rising star winners a year ago. Former world amateur champions. And they made the semi final in all four dances last year. Very good, strong tango. Americans once more. But dancing so well as she's English, I think we should play in the England. <laughs> but they dance for the USA in the team match. dancing so well together that all the lines are matching so beautifully. Yes, better in this dance than their walks, a little more settled, but still not of the form they had a couple of years ago. just seem to lack a little bit of confidence that they appear to have a few years ago. The dancing is just as good, but mm. the energy output is not as strong as it was. Yes, I think you, I think you exactly made the point there, Pat. That is exactly, yes, that's absolutely right. It's not quite that, the will, the determination. Perhaps a slight change of emphasis in the coaching or so difficult to pinpoint. In the quick step, 12 couples have been recalled. 6, 29, 54, 77, 102. 127, 132, 150, 175, 186, 198, and 204. Your comments certainly seem to be borne out, Pat, because the Shinodas have been left out in the quick step this time, uh, with which they'll be disappointed, but in come Robert and Barbara Litchfield, who were included in this dance only a year ago. The quick step seems to be their speciality dance. Yes, they always look so buoyant and lively Thank in this you. dance. It seems strange that the other dances aren't quite up to this quality. Perhaps they saved it all for the last yeah, I think they must have. And of course they'll be fresh now because the other three dances already have already done seven or eight minutes flat out. 
and there's always a possibility that they could even make the final just in this one dance as the competition is run on individual dances. And on this evidence, it's a possibility they're dancing remarkably well. Now there's something a bit strange about this competition, Pat, because not for a long time has anyone successfully defended the title. The holders are Marcus and Karen Hilton, who took the title away from John Wood and Anne Lewis, who had taken the title away from Marcus and Karen Hilton, who had taken the title away from John Wood and Anne Lewis, who had taken the title away from Stephen and Lindsay Hillier. So it's been a long time since it's been defended successfully. I wonder tonight, will that sequence be broken? Well, it's so difficult to say because looking at the quality of both the couples that have been mentioned, they're both on top form, so it will be a ding-dong battle. And then there's Andrew and Lorraine Sinkinson, who were the British Foxtrot champions last year, beating both Hiltons and uh, Woodlose. Of course, John Wood and Anne Lewis are now John and Anne Wood after their wedding a year ago.